Hello everyone. In this guide we're gonna cover some of the tools in here. I'm not gonna cover the A tools just yet because there's gonna be a separate video for that. But in this guide we're gonna cover all these tools here. Okay, so the first tool we're gonna cover is the GM tool. Basically this Rocknet for GM tool version 5 is a tool that lets you sh see the commands of different various GM, uh, GM commands. Like let's say in here GM character, you want the command for one hit kill, there it is, one slash one kill. It's pretty similar, we went over the GM commands in the last video, but this is, this is a tool to just simply showcase the commands and showcase some stuff here. It, it, it's quite convenient, like you, the user interface wise. So, invisible, visible, undying, you have other character, you can like, uh, if I type for example speed packs, we can type summon speed packs to summon him, allow chat, get IP, mute or remove quests. In game we can spawn different monsters like let's say I wanna I wanna spawn this one for example. Then I have to go in game here and type this. And then I'm gonna spawn like this, this huge boss. Um and also if I go back here into the tool, you can go you can modify stuff in the in the party and guild. You can actually destroy a guild. You can modify how much Penya and the stats and EXP. Like let's say EXP and then I want uh, for example 999 and the pet level is this for example. And I can click pet level this, guild stats this and create or destroy. And item create I can ma make all the items in here, like there's so many items to choose from, you can even search for them in there, if you know the names of them. You can upgrade specific items with specific stats and generate them, that, it, this, it, it's a really convenient GUI. And, we, and you, then you get the command immediately in here, to pay, so you can parse it into the, into the game. Pets, you can change various pet stat. Pet stats, EXP, life, create, food, pet food, change the pet name. And there's some anti-hack. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if you're going to be using this too much, but uh, I'm not too familiar with it. It's probably something you have to implement in, in your game first. And yeah. So yeah, that's, that, that's pretty much it. it it's, a, it's a tool that lets you simulate that... that, that makes it easier for you to see the comments of different uh, of different GM abilities that you can do. Okay, so that's GM tool. Next we're gonna look at, this is not really a tool, this is just models that you can put into your game. There's a lot of models to choose from here. So you can put them into your game if you'd like to. Uh, server manager. This one basically lets you toggle uh, to start server the servers in the order you want, or you can click them, or you can auto start them. However, to do this, you need to go to options and then you need to choose the path of each one of those. However, remember that if you want to use this, you have to make sure that you start the server in the correct order because if you don't do that, the server will not properly start. Like some, like the cache server and and, and certain and certain servers here are not going to start properly if you don't start it in the correct order. And I have that order in my first server video. So just, if you want to add this, you can do that. Just add the paths in here. And then just start them in an order that you have to do for the server to work. Okay. Going back, we're going to look at Titanium 3. This is a program where you can use, that you can use to create a patch. And you can toggle for the file names and current patch. And then add them and then remove them if you'd like to. Yeah, make your patch. And then the last tool is the password hasher. Basically the password has hasher gives you the opportunity to hash your password in, with certain salts. Like if you're using the, the, the source code and the files that I'm using, the, this one, you're gonna stick with key, with the uh, Kiku Gal Galnet. Basically just type your password in here like test one. And then you're gonna have to use this one and then you click generate password. And then this is the password that you're going to be using if you're going to create an account manually. Like, let's say I'm going to I'm going to make an account called test1. So I I take this, 
password in here and then I go into uh, database and then I go to create account SQL I open this and this is the place where you have to pass the password so since I made a test one password I have to make sure I have to remember that the password is test one and then the username would have to be test one as well I could I, I could, you can make it anything but I'm gonna make test one username and test one the password and this is already hashed for this so we're gonna just gonna execute it boom there it is and now we could just log we could just literally log out and then do test one test one and boom we're in with a new account so yeah that, that that's very easy that's very convenient with this tool just hashing the correct salt it's really convenient okay so that's all the tools that you have that you have in here I'm gonna make a separate video for this one because it's a quite a heavy tool with a lot of things to cover in here so stay tuned for that video okay thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys